two, one, zero. We begin this week on a launch pad in West Texas. It was private spaceflight company Blue Origin's fourth crewed launch in its new Shepard program named for famed astronaut Alan Shepard. On board were passengers Mark and Sharon Hagel, who became the first married couple to fly in a commercial spacecraft. It's an experience that's hard to put into words. Um, you can describe the physical aspects of it in the, in the excitement of going to space and the ride itself, mm -hmm. but to define the emotional impact is very difficult. Sharon Hagel says her trip can inspire the next generation of space travelers and students, a stated aim of her charity, Space Kids Global. We want to prepare this generation for the possibility of living off planet. And with technology changing so quickly, we don't want any child left behind. Passengers experience roughly three minutes of weightlessness on board Blue Origin. Mark Hagel describes the feeling. Think about touching the wall and just the mere touch of the wall is enough force to shoot you across the room. <laughs> That's weightless. And while landings often look rough with clouds of dust as the capsule touches down, Mark Hagel calls them very smooth and says the dust we see comes from a rocket firing under the craft. The Hagels did not disclose the cost of their space adventure. In other news, a recent delay on Earth pushed back the launch of the first all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. Houston-based startup Axiom Space, as well as NASA and others in the industry, call the upcoming trip a turning point in expanding commercial space ventures in the low Earth orbit economy, or LEO for short. We're like early days of internet, and we haven't even imagined all the possibilities, all the capabilities that we're going to be providing uh, in space. SpaceX will carry the Axiom X-1 mission to space, where the X-1 team will bring 26 science and technology experiments, including research on brain health, cardiac stem cells, cancer, and aging. No explanation on the delayed launch, but the new date, weather permitting, is April 8th. And liftoff. Finally this week, following in the stardust of the SpaceX Crew-3 mission, shown here is the upcoming Crew-4 mission, which will make history by carrying the first black female astronaut to the ISS for a six-month stay. This is certainly um, an important milestone, I think, uh, both for our agency and, and for the country. Um, and. You know, I think it really is just a tribute to the uh, legacy of the black women astronauts that have come before me, as well as to the exciting future ahead. Watkins says she's honored to be a role model for others to pursue their dreams. The Crew-4 mission was set for launch on April 20, but it will now be no sooner than the 21st. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News. 600 kilometers from the International Space Station. It's been a wonderful